welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving and got to pig out on all the turkey and all the amazing sides. Uh, I like sweet potatoes the best and so I ate so many of them and they were really yummy. What was your favorite? Hmm? So this week, since Thanksgiving is over, it's time to move in to my favorite season, which is Christmas. Now, it's not my favorite season because, you know, we get presents and the Christmas tree and all the lights and all of that stuff, even though that stuff is pretty cool and amazing. My favorite part of Christmas is the fact that we get to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Jesus was our king, our savior. Of course, we should make a big deal about his birthday, right? So I think he deserves an entire month of birthday celebration. Don't you? I think he deserves it. Okay, so today our story starts in Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1 and he talks about Mary. Mary was this really young girl. She was engaged to this guy named Joseph but they hadn't gotten married yet and she was kind of like a peasant girl. Like she wasn't famous, she wasn't a queen, she wasn't royalty. She was just kind of this average girl. Well one night an angel appears to her, the angel Gabriel, who is kind of like God's right hand man kind of angel. And so he appears to her at night and he tells her, Mary, you have found favor with God. God is so pleased with you that he wants you to be the mother of our Savior. She's kind of like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm one, not married yet, and two, I'm like a nobody. How am I going to be the mother of a king? And so the angel tells her, with God, all things are possible. And because of that, she was going to give birth to a boy. They wanted her to name him Jesus, which is what she does. And the, Jesus was going to be the king of kings, the savior of everyone. So basically, Jesus was going to be the one who was going to come and rescue everybody so that we could one day go to heaven. So you got to remember at this time, the Bible had been leading up to the fact that the King of Kings was going to be born. Nobody knew who, nobody knew when. A lot of people thought he'd be this really tall, strong, like powerful king and be able to defeat everybody. No one anticipated that Jesus would be born to this young girl who was kind of a servant girl who didn't come from power, didn't come from money, it was just kind of average. That's not who they were expecting. So the fact that this happened was huge. The fact that G God picked Mary of all people on earth to be the mother of Jesus who was going to one day be our savior was a miracle in itself. So Mary was kind of shocked and a little bit scared because remember, she's young, she's not married, she has no m real money or anything to take care of herself and yet the angel's telling her, hey, you're going to have a baby soon. His name is going to be Jesus. He's going to be the king of everyone, and he's going to be the savior to everyone. So have fun. Now, Mary could have said no, which is kind of crazy. She could have told God, no, I'm not ready for this. She said, okay. She praised God for the ability to do this, and she was ready and willing to be the mom of Jesus, our savior, which is really cool. So this week, this month, we're going to be discussing all that happens to lead up to Jesus's birth. Talk to your parents about it. Talk to your parents. What would it be like to be Mary, first of all, and be visited by an angel? That in itself is pretty crazy and scary, I have to say. But just the fact that they're telling her, hey, you're going to give birth to a baby, but not only just any baby, this is going to be the King of Kings, God's son, baby. That's huge. That's terrifying. I would be so scared because that's a lot of responsibility. So talk to your parents about it. Talk to your parents about the fact that Mary was this mom of, of Jesus, even though she was this teenager, and talk about how that would be shocking to everybody else around in this area. Have a discussion with your parents as we lead up into Jesus' birth because it just keeps getting better and better as we see how God used everyday people to bring our Savior home. All right, guys. Talk to you next week.